up. Uh, great day yesterday. A little lighter today. These guys are excited about coming out with what we call spider pads today, so it'll be a lot less contact. Um, hopefully, they're mature enough to practice in those. Uh, sometimes, you know, different teams, especially a young football team, thinks that it's going to be a day off. There's, you know, there's no day off during camp, and there's never a day off, I guess. Sunday, I guess, is their day off. But they got to be able to maturely practice in those things. Or, you know, we can come out and full pass today and scrimmage tomorrow. That doesn't make any difference to me. Uh, we'll try to mentally freshen them up today for a big day tomorrow. We get to go to Heinz Field, um, which, you know, probably be the biggest scrimmage of the year, which, uh, you know, which is the case. And I'll probably say the next one's the biggest one because it's the next one. But uh, it's a big scrimmage to find out, you know, where we are. So, questions? Defense. Have you made adjustments, changes? Are you pretty much still doing the same thing here uh, three years in? You know, hopefully we're doing it better. Um, but we're doing little things. I mean, there's always, you know, you have to adjust. I don't care if it's offensively, defensively, and special teams. You have to adjust with the times. There's always different tweaks that we've got going on. Uh, we did a year ago. Uh, not that it mattered. Um, you know, but you know, you're always looking for different stuff. I mean, that's how we evolve. You're not going to change your overall structure, but there's techniques and fundamentals that you're trying to do a little bit better. Maybe we need to do this. And I think we got some good stuff. Is it more on the teach again, maybe, than it is on the schematical end? It's, you know, it's how, you, how you get these guys to the level you want them as opposed to doing something different. No question about it. I mean, it's called development. I mean, you know, I've, I've been around the staff rooms. You know, I got hired at... Uh, uh, Miami of Ohio back in 2003 in March, seven days before spring ball started, and, and inherited the staff. And when I got there, it was like, why were you doing this? Well, we couldn't stop that, so we went and we started putting this defense in. We, you know, you can't just keep changing defenses to stop a play, a formation, or a type of offense because you don't get any consistency. So you have to have a base, fundamental background to go from, and then you, you, know, you tweak it based on, our, you know, our offense does some crazy stuff. We face a lot of crazy offenses. You know, uh, it couldn't be a better offense to go against because you see everything. You see everything from a wishbone three-back offense to a, you know, to an empty set. So you see everything. So our defense, really, when they come out of camp, will have a good base of, of all kinds of offensive plays. With adding Brandon, would you say that your offensive line is the deepest it's been since you got here? No. I would say last year was pretty deep, you know, even though we didn't see a lot of guys. You had a lot of, you know, again, when you say deep, you know, you got some guys that are, you know, getting better every day. But last year we had a lot of older, deeper guys. I would say last year was pretty good. I don't know if you can beat that one. I think in a couple of years we maybe could get there, but uh, I would not say that. Have you seen uh, Henderson make the improvements in the passing game that you're open for yet? You know what? He had a great catch yesterday. Um, and uh, I think I think we have. I mean, I've seen little things out of it. You know, it's hard to say. You won't find out till game day, but um, I, I have noticed he's focusing on that and, and getting better. Was Murray French a guy that you thought would, or a guy that you do think will have kind of a bigger role in this offense, significant role, especially with Trey being out for the year? You know, no question about it. I mean, you know, Maurice is a, is a great player, you know, offensively and defensively. And, and uh, you know, anytime a guy goes down, it's that next guy up. And whether, you know, Maurice beats out Trey Tipton in camp or whether, you know, uh, Trey's not there and, you know, and the job's there for the taking, uh, Maurice is going to, you know, hopefully have a major part this offense. You talked about the hotel experience again yesterday. Are you picking the roommates for these guys too? Is that something different? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it's a, it's a lot different uh, than a year ago because we were able to, you know, it's like, you know, Maddox is rooming with J.D. Drake. And the first night he comes up and he goes, Coach, really? i got to meet room with J.D. Now it's like his best friend. He's sending me, you know, texting me pictures of, of J.D. So it's, it's funny how that whole thing goes. He's like, Coach, I don't know that guy. Well, that's why we put you... Uh, with different people. And we try to always make people up, but in um, Sutherland, where we used to stay, we moved the freshmen in there and they had their freshman roommate for the rest of the year. Now we can put a senior with a, a freshman and really mix it up and, and get them a little extra. You well, know, young guys kind of, on the second offensive unit, how have you seen Ben DiNucci kind of grow as a leader? And I saw him yesterday, you know, getting people aligned and things like that. You know, Ben's doing a good job. I mean, could he get better? Yes. You know, there's a lot of things. And we'll, you know, we'll go daily, but you know Ben's grown a lot since uh, since he's gotten here. I think he's grown a lot since that, that bowl game, and uh, we'll see how much more he grows. He's still got a ways to go. Yeah, Any update on the, uh, Aston Motley Hendricks? Any of those guys? Say that again. Any update on Aston Motley Hendricks? No, Ronson. no, no. We're you know <laughs> you guys know. Jerry, can you tell him what we what do we not do? 
Uh, we don't talk about uh, the I word thing. Okay. We don't talk about the I word. God, that's a good way to put it. You know, if there's guys, if there's an update, I'm going to give you. But otherwise, you know, their, their personal health is is uh, is their personal health, and and I don't talk about injuries. And you know, I'll give you an update. If there's something like it's an out for the year type deal, I'm going to tell you. Otherwise, so it's not an out for the year type deal. Heck no. Let's go.